standardized patient is an individual that is trained to portray symptoms and problems in a real life person. They are here to give feedback to our students on communication, professionalism, and on the physical exam. They are really here to be the gap between the classroom learning and real life. As a standardized patient, I pretty much am what, what's really going to be considered an actor patient. I am given a script and you read over the script and just get familiar with what your symptoms are going to be. Once we have been trained on the script, we actually interact with the student. And we answer all the questions the, the training doctor uh, needs answered and just try to be as authentic as possible. Once we do an encounter with the student, then after that we will evaluate the student. And once we finish the evaluation, we actually give them feedback on the encounter. It's giving them an opportunity to, to be a doctor before they actually have to be one. The students tell us that this helps them remember why they wanted to be a healthcare professional in the first place. They're getting to see what they'll be like with a, a real patient. Training for a program like this is really a lot of fun. It's uh, educational on, on, on our part. You had multiple times to be trained before you actually interacted with the student. We make sure our standardized patients feel comfortable, confident, and that they know how to handle a patient encounter before they go into it. It's very thorough. We have um, wonderful administrators that get us to the right point. They go through four different phases. First, they just watch and they learn and see a, an experienced standardized patient going through the case. Then they're provided the case and they read through it and study it. And then we have them come in and they do an acting portrayal, kind of a training just to see how they'll do with the, the materials. And then they have the third and fourth stages where they learn about how to give feedback and how to rate a student properly. You learn to take criticism constructively. You learn to take feedback more constructively and then present feedback constructively. With the script we're given, with the training that we're given prior to it, I always do feel fully prepared for my exam. Our standardized patients are so passionate about what they do. They are here to create competent, excited healthcare professionals that want to be here in our community. I feel that if they succeed, then society as a whole will be better. And I feel I'm a part of that. Even though you are working with a different student each time, you can almost see the progress that they've made. It's rewarding and um, I enjoy it. And it keeps my mind sharp. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting a lot out of it. One of the just wonderful things is just, wow, I'm doing my best in helping change the direction of the medical field in the world at the moment. It's affecting the lives of, uh, of many students, and, so it, and because it does affect them that way, I want to be my best, and I want to be as helpful as I can to help them along the way. We need standardized patients from a variety of backgrounds. We want our students to be exposed to every different type of individual that they might see in practice. If you're considering becoming an SP, there are a lot of benefits from it. It is a part-time job, and it pays well, and it's very, very flexible. We have a lot of young moms that uh, come to just get out of the house, and we have people that are retired and that they still want to work because they want to keep their minds young. Um, we have people that have several part-time jobs, and this is just one of them. And they're able to work around their schedule, and they love that flexibility. And being a standardized patient, you have to be reliable. You have to be consistent. But if they're willing, I believe it's work that they would enjoy, and it would be rewarding for them.